Ah, uh, starting off the video here in the she shed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome for an exciting day for our 2021 Yukon Denali Duramax. Man, we just debuted this thing here on the channel. Well, not just, but like a month and a half ago at this point in time, and I'll be honest, I've absolutely been loving. Not only is the Yukon just a premier manufacturing accomplishment in and of itself, but man, the comfort is unpronounced and the 3.0 liter Duramax is extra special because it goes by Mrs. Fit and they're extremely hard to come by and I'm super grateful to have one here in my possession. But ladies and gentlemen, today we are gonna be correcting and fixing the massive manufacturing flaw that this vehicle came with from the factory and I'm super excited about it. You guys are not gonna wanna miss what's in store. Welcome Ozzy and Otto to the vlog boys. We are hanging out on a glorious stormy night here in the shop and I'm so excited. You guys have absolutely no idea the vibes that I'm feeling at this very moment in time because we've got all of the vehicles wrapped up including the Maverick which we don't quite have a winner for yet so stay tuned for that. But what I'm getting back to is I got distracted in that very scroll moment right there is we have everything up under the roof at the property as it's snowing outside might be kind of hard to see there you go right there take my word for it it's just so humbling and i'm so grateful guys you have absolutely no idea we've worked for this we've earned this and i've shared every single stride of the journey to get to this point in time and i'm seriously so unbelievably grateful you have no idea i say it a lot I, i'll say it again and i'm going to constantly remind you guys of truly how thankful i am to have you along for this journey for this ride for this life and to be able to make these videos with so many exceptionally high quality people all across the country that share the same passions as i do it's, it's why i started to YouTube all the way back in 2017. It wasn't to do anything other than just meet like-minded people and it continues to deliver day in and day out. So ladies and gentlemen, we've got Raphael Pena coming up from Hampton, Virginia tomorrow, as a matter of fact, real time on the vlog to take delivery of Lone Star and $30,000 cash. So there will be a full video detailing all of that, getting his reactions and all the excitement that comes along with it. And then we've got Dream Diesel giveaway number 22 to open 2022, which goes by the name of Ghost. It's a rather mysterious being. And you know what? The truck's been kind of somewhat hidden in plain sight, and I'm just going to have to leave it at that. But it launches on January 11th, 2022, and it is awesome. I'm just gonna put it that way, to keep it light. You can speculate, you can question, you can guess all you'd like, and I'm curious to see who might get it right. Definitely mark your calendars because first week is a big bonus and it's the biggest one for the entire giveaway. So that brings us to the 2021 Yukon Denali. I made a video on this the other day talking about the five things that I hated. And hate is a strong word, but I'm gonna say disagreed with. And I got a lot of positive feedback on that. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the video. It was fun to make it. And now we're gonna talk about the single biggest factory flaw on the 2021 Yukon Denali Duramax. Guys, we're talking a top trim truck right here without top trim features. We buy top trim trucks all the time and they're always fully equipped. But on the Yukon, GM, I'm kind of slightly disappointed, decided that it was an okay idea to offer a sub premium wheel. Now, the 20 is a common platform option because if you were to go across to, let's just say it's brother, the Tahoe AT4 edition, you're going to get factory 20s that are kind of similar looking. They just have a black and chrome style look to them, kind of like they come on the AT4s from the factory, except of course we changed them. So 20s, yes, makes sense for the off-road version, but I bought a Denali. I didn't really want an off-road vehicle per se. I wanted more of a luxury, a class, an elite, but it came with 20s. And you know what? It really just doesn't do this truck any justice whatsoever. And today we are going to be changing that. I found ourselves a set of gorgeous factory 22 inch wheels, but they weren't exactly the color that I was looking for. So of course we changed that too. Luckily we know a really good powder coater who does pretty much all the powder coating for everything here on the channel, including Lone Star's absolutely epic concave wheels. You might notice that it doesn't have American Force center caps on it right now. It's because we were doing a little experiment. I'm just going to have to leave it there, but don't fret, don't fret, don't fret. They're going to be back on by the time that Raphael gets here tomorrow. But he does absolutely killer powder coating work and the wheels happen to be right over there. Yeah. Gotta aim for the top like Hello. Yeah, I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it just settles. So I'm in my element, it's evident that this level to the game. All of those dark nights I got then breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like rain. I ain't never need your help, snap for the sun like Diddy. The rich got a mad at son, I'm like Billy. I ain't never switch up, whole team with me. Put known for my city like OAGZ. Set the pace as long as you finish. Consumers find a way inside your business. Babylon, they try to dabble in it and they hate the fact that they 
they may have to witness you trying to aim for the top like this and you're in your element with a fire like this and they're hoping you fall and they praying you miss but it's all in the risk i got you with the switch you know i'm in the zone give me the throne one shot that's all that you got that's all that i know foot on the gas 155 on the road you could be a friend of me an enemy keep that same old energy cause i know i'm in my element ooh, yeah i'm in my element ooh, yeah i'm in my element Flow is like water, I'm forced to the fire, I'm feeling like gold. Gotta stay grounded, stay down to earth, following God, and you grinding, you do as you told. I don't work to make you like me, but I'm front and center, word to Spike Lee. And God came in a nigga time, they think I'm crazy, but I might be. Let's run it up, run it up, run it up. We beating the odds just to sum it up. You know it's a rap, never waistlines, and I'm cutting the weight like a tummy tuck. That mean I'm about to give it out right now. You see what's coming down the line, I never pipe down. I give 100% and be trying to stun on my enemies, and my element is crazy, it's the mic sign. I'm in the zone. Give me the throne. One shot, that's all that you got. That's all that I know. Foot on the gas. 155 on the road. You could be a friend of me, an enemy. Keep that same old energy, cause I know. I'm in my element, ooh, yeah. 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 Keep that same energy. I'm in my element, flaw has finally been fixed here in the 2021 Yukon Denali Duramax. Those 20s absolutely had to go in. General Motors, I don't know what they were thinking. Marketing a top trim truck with not top trim factory accessories when they offer a beautiful wheel just like that and others in 22 formats across the Chevy, Cadillac, and GMC lineup with 20s. Now the 20s are for sale. I'm going to have them up on Facebook Marketplace so if you guys are interested in them, they will be available and they will look good on, let's just say, some classic body style top hose if they share the same bolt pattern i'm not sure if they do but yes they will be for sale nonetheless they are intended for a very specific vehicle it's just not this one here behind us so boys and girls what you're looking at now is the yukon denali that i wanted to buy in the first place it's just that well i couldn't be all that picky these duramax 3.0 liters with the 10 speed transmission from 2020 up are extremely rare to find right now i mean i am talking needle in a haystack style we had to go all the way out to wisconsin just to get this one from kern's motor car for Unfortunately, it was available. It didn't have all the options that I was looking for, but that's okay. Because as an enthusiast, I get a whole heck of a lot of satisfaction out of modifying and contributing to a vehicle from concept to reality. So I found these wheels here right in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. There's a small little outfit that focuses on selling specific factory takeoff wheels. And they just so happen to have these right here. So they're factory GMC 22s. You'll also find these on some Chevy and Cadillac. So kind of across the big three under the GM portfolio. You see them a little bit more on Cadillacs, whereas on the GMCs and the Chevys with the 22 factory options, they're kind of similar to these wheels right here. There was actually a black GMC Yukon just like this, except with the 6.2 liter that our main man Brody, who just showed up, did a full paint correction on. Ladies and gentlemen, just a word of advice. Do not go through. Automatic car wash. Don't do it. Or you can do it because it's job security for that man right there. Your choice. I'm just warning you right here on the vlog. So he did that while he had that vehicle in the shop of which he made look better than factory i got to see these wheels in the 22 version black on a black yukon they looked great but then i saw these so these 20s from the factory are actually very similar to these 22s from the factory now what you'll see is these are just 
a little bit of a stubbier, shorter version. Let me get it up next to the other wheel here so you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison of what I'm talking about. So the 22s obviously just look so much more glorious. They fill out the wheel wells and they're black. They complement the Onyx black that's on the truck. But the wheel is actually almost the same. It's just the 20 version versus the 22. It's a 12 spoke design. It's just that the 22s look more full and more appropriately sized for the Yukon. Now, the cool thing about this process was in my investigation, I found that these tires and these tires are the exact same size, except a 20 inch wheel versus a 22 inch wheel. And you might be asking yourself, Jack, why does that matter? They're factory tires. Well, that's exactly why it matters. This vehicle right here, 100% needs a spare. No questions asked. I make some exceptions on my personal trucks with wider wheels in case in point. But this one right here, I wanted to ensure that we maintain the factory spare usability. And we'll come to find out. The 20s have a 275-60-20 and the 22s have a 275-50-20. So the spare tire that comes factory with these vehicles can be used with the 20s or the 22s. Now I wanted to go with these wheels because they're very simple and they're easier to clean. There's also a multi-spoke kind of web style design. I liked it, but I saw a cleaning nightmare. I really, really like webbed wheels, don't get me wrong, but as you can see, I tend to gravitate towards more simple styles on my trucks, specifically because it makes cleaning a lot easier. And when you have this many vehicles, you have to find the little efficiencies because they add up big time. So our boy Brody from Accelerate Auto did a little special treatment here tonight on the channel. We've had Super Duty Sam version two chilling on the channel for a while and it just wasn't complete without tint. And truthfully, that man and I are extremely busy and it almost seems like we're trying to get solar systems in alignment to make our schedules work. And sometimes we just gotta chill after hours, but this is what it's all about. And this is really kind of where it all started. It brings me back to the day that Brody was in his original shop. It was a small but awesome little shop right in Lidditz off of 501 Fruitville Pike. Brody actually just reminded me that we had just put the SRT 10 seats in eight ball. And if you guys can think back, that was actually in my first shop, like first real shop, the small one before the last one that came before this one right here. And it was always after hours chill hangout sessions. And you know what? It's still about that. No matter what, time continues to move on, but still I think it's these moments right now that I enjoy most. And I'll tell you what, that Platinum is looking covered up. It is snowing like absolutely crazy outside. They're calling for like six inches or something along those lines. Brody's rolling around on factory wheels with some 37 Terra Hunter XTs. These are Venoms, just like the ones over there except a different size and it is because it's winter mode right now and he's got a whole new setup that's going to be hitting this truck in spring and I'll tell you what it's going to look good I mean it looks good now it's very functional I can't hate on it by any means it is semi-narrow maybe not to my qualification per se it's but just, dude it's built like me just tall and skinny I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> it's just a man with his truck. They're compliment to one another. Although Brody, that flight fab stuff that you've got in the works and boys, the color that he's got picked out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take any, any credit for the color that he picked. Although I've been in his ear about it since the day that I learned that he was picking some parts up from miles of flight fab. Let's just say you guys are not going to be disappointed and you're going to see some changes come. Let's just say spring of 2022. And you guys might notice we've also got some rock lights. That was as per the compliment of our boy, Jake from enthusiast today. Here's a quick little recap. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back. It's been Rocklight Central up here in uh, Enthusiast Headquarters 5.0. Last time you saw me, I was working on the AT4's Rocklight. Didn't have time to catch all the wiring on film. However, we got it all wired up and it looks absolutely amazing. AT4 is looking freaking sweet now. Just got to get these paint match parts back from Sean and this thing is going to be a new beast. But that being said, the AT4 is done and the Ford's next on the chopping block. Now, I'm really excited to do the rock lights in the Ford because Efficiency Lighting Supply threw in a high output kit, which makes the lights that we've been using that much brighter. A little confused on how to wire it up at first. Gave John from Efficiency Lighting a call. He explained it super easy, way over complicating it. But this relay is going to allow these lights to shine that much brighter on these trucks. And let me tell you, this Ford is a great candidate to do that too. Next step is getting this truck up in the air.
Nice. So let's take a step back to a few days ago where we talked about the five things that I kind of don't really like about the Yukon Denali. If you guys can recall, we switched out the red GMC badges with the factory black ones. Speaking of squirrel moment, the center caps here are black with chrome GMC stencil black inlays. Those are factory directly from General Motors. So I powder coated the wheels black because they were not black when I picked them up. They look great and they match perfectly and it was cool that it was an OEM feature. I thought I was gonna have to do something aftermarket for that, but fortunately I didn't. And then bringing us back to real time, if you guys can recall, I used my 3M adhesive removal wheel on this little chrome trim bezel and that was a massive mistake. It delaminated the actual chrome overlay on the plastic piece and I didn't wanna put the black GMC badge on, well, for obvious reasons. So let's swap that out. A few moments later. Legitimately, I cannot make this up and it was not my fault this time. I'm opening up this bezel that I bought from an OEM GM parts website and look at what I found. I can't even make this up. Look at that scratch. If it was smaller, I'd probably accept it. But in this instance, I'm gonna have to give the distributor a call, probably return this part. Fun fact, for anybody that's ever bought an OEM GM part, when you look at the shipping label, you're greeted with a bunch of information. Well, this is actually the label that I used to run for all of the UAW employees that I used to supervise back in the day when I was working for General Motors. Now you're gonna see number 51 right there. That is actually the warehouse distribution center that this part came from. 51 is Martinsburg, West Virginia. If you saw 06, that would be the Philadelphia PDC, which stands for Parts Distribution Center. And that is actually where I started my career with General Motors back in the day. It's in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. And that's where it all began. Right here, you guys can see Martinsburg, West Virginia, that's plant 51. And then what happens is they'll actually run through the facilities based on pull numbers and routes. And it's a pretty interesting thing. Logistics and General Motors and all big companies at that are quite complex, but that's where I started. I was a UAW operations supervisor. I started in an inventory control role. That's kind of where I did more analytics. I was tasked with trying to improve operations in the building, inventory accuracy and other things like that. And then I actually went Went to another role where I was uh, supervising more UAW employees doing outbound shipping. That was a second shift role. And I'm going to be completely honest. I was grateful for it, but it really sucked. I was working some ridiculous hours. It was like, it was like 1 PM to 2 30 AM pretty much on average most days. And as I had said, I'm never going to say, I wish I didn't do it because if I didn't do it, I wouldn't be where I am today. And everything happens for a reason. Everybody has their own path. And truthfully, it taught me a lot. like that boys and girls we got the full ray charles treatment making my man behind the shades proud the ultimate privacy is five percent tint we didn't do anything up front at this moment in time five on the sides is plenty fine but boys i'll tell you what look at how super duty sam version 2 is evolving you guys had so many good ideas for names of this truck but something tells me this build is really going to take super duty sam an iconic subject at that and make him very very, very proud to say the least. That's all I'm gonna say right now because we've got some really big plans in store for this truck and what you're seeing now is only kind of somewhat scratching the surface. So we put our old Trident by Hilliard to the test tonight and got the floors all squeegeed up. Looking right, auto, does it pass the test? It even smells good, my friend. The dogs are anxious. They wanna get outside and play in the snow in the worst way. We've got about three inches at this point in time and it's been an absolutely awesome night. Guys, honestly, it's about 10.30 PM now. It's like an hour and a half past Past my bedtime but this brings back a lot of memories to when I was younger when I was with my friends after hours hanging out just chilling 
basically. And Brody and I were talking a little bit about how this is really where the automotive love and enjoyment and passion begins. It's the after hours nights hanging out with your dear friends. And truthfully, it's moments like this that make all of this stuff all the more worthwhile, kind of looking back and realizing what you can accomplish. And genuinely, it all stems from the love and the enjoyment of this right here, of being an enthusiast, of driving for that next mod, that goal, that bill. And if anything, I said something to Brody tonight that I wanted to share with you guys. My goal with YouTube is to be a future version of you. I want to be an influence to drive you to do more in your life so you can get to where I am today, which I know you can, and I'm just here to help you visualize what it's going to look like when you get there. I don't know if that came out exactly right because genuinely, yes, there's all of this awesome stuff around me, but I never lose sight of what it took to start it all. And that was just hanging out with my father in the garage realizing at that moment in time there's nothing more that defines me other than being an enthusiast. And that's why I'm super grateful to have every single one of you that follow along to this channel because I know the quality surpasses the quantity day in, day out, 24-7, 365. So that being said, it was an absolutely great night. Wifey's Yukon Denali Duramax is looking absolutely fantastic. What do you guys think of the murdered out trio that is Misfit and Mrs. Fit? Are we digging it? Are we not digging it? I know it's a big change from typical Dirty Max Jack with the white vehicles, but I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. Luckily, I know Keg's custom detailing. Otherwise, I'd probably have heart palpitations over the fact that I have two black vehicles as daily drivers in this household. But uh, it's a pretty sick cop, though. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I can't even lie. I can't even lie. I'm just going to look past the fact that they're black and dirty. Stay on the lookout for Dream Diesel giveaway number 22 launching January 11, 2022. It's a big old surprise. What do we have in store?